It's not whether you choose to or not, brother. It's you gonna get down or the most I say you gonna lay down, bro. That's, right. That's what our nation facing. That's what the nation facing. And he don't give a damn about gender, race, age. He don't care nothing about that. Right. The most I tired and he's angry as hell with his sons being foolish out here. Right. Y'all right. gonna get down or y'all gonna lay down. That's we was taught in Christian church. We was taught that the Lord gonna accept us and whatever we got to give. Remember Cain? You, you you familiar with the story of Cain? He he wanted to give what? What was Cain's sacrifice? The, the fruits and vegetables. The crops, right? But what was the acceptable sacrifice to the Lord? The blood of bulls and goats, right? That's what he commissioned be sacrificed, right? But for a sin offering, Cain didn't sacrifice blood. He sacrificed the, 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 uh, the crops that he had. You with me? He sacrificed the crops that he had. But the Lord told him what to sacrifice. He said, you just gonna have to take, you just gonna have to accept this. This is what I'm gonna give, this is what I got, this is what you gonna get. That's how Cain dealt with him, right? How did, what did the Lord say to him? Go, let's hold that real quick, go, let me show you. Let me show you. Cause I gotta show you, as being Judah, it's not whether you choose to or not, brother. It's you gonna get down or the most I say you gonna lay down, bro. That's, right. That's what our nation facing. That's what the nation, for, and he don't give a damn about gender, race, age. He don't care nothing about that. Right. The most I tired, and he's angry as hell with his sons being foolish out here. Right. Y'all right. gonna get down or y'all gonna lay down? That's right. That's right. Watch this. I'm gonna show you. Come on. This is the book of Genesis, chapter four and verse three. And in process of time, uh -huh. it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground uh -huh. an offering unto the Lord. He brought the fruit of the ground an offering to the Lord, right? But the Lord said, do what? Sacrifice blood to me, right? Come on. Verse four, uh -huh. and Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock. Why? Because Cain had crops. Abel had flocks, right? So Cain said, you gonna get what I got. I don't got no, I ain't gonna get no, I ain't gonna, I don't want to, I, you just gonna take whatever I got to give you, Lord. That's what Cain did, right? Abel had the flocks, right? So Cain could have dealt with his brother, hey, let me get, I need to buy, a, uh, I need to buy a first name of your flock from you. I need to buy a lamb or a goat from you. I need to buy a bullock from you, right? He ain't do that. He told the Lord, you gonna take whatever I got. Watch this. And of the fat thereof, uh -huh. and the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. So not only did Cain, because it said in the fact thereof, that means the best of what he had. So not only was it the acceptable sacrifice, it was the best of the acceptable sacrifice, which was blood. But Cain, he brought whatever he had of his flock. That's why it didn't specify the fatling of his flocks. He brought whatever he felt like. Lord, you just, you won't take, you, I'm going to come as I am. Ain't that what they tell you in church? Right. Come as you are. The Lord ain't dealing like that. That's a lie. Right. And it's the reason we, why we still die, brother. His countenance failed. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wrong? Read. And why is that countenance falling? Why are you mad? What you mad for? Watch this. If thou doest well, uh -huh. shalt thou not be accepted? If you bring what I told you to bring, what I told you to bring, will I not accept you? Will I not accept your offering? Will I not bless you for what you've done? Will I not? Watch this. Come on. And if thou doest not well, uh -huh. sin lieth at thy door. But hold on. If you bring what you want, if you come as thou art, if you come as you are, get sin lies at your door. Sin lies at your door. What does that mean? Give me, give me John 8. What does that mean? Sin lies at your door. And this is the reason. What are we getting back to, brother? Why are we destroyed? Why are we destroyed? Why have we had Christianity for 400 plus years? Are we still destroyed? That's right. Why? We get into it. So he's, God said to Cain, and him telling the Lord, you're going to take my sacrifice. You're going to take it. The Lord said, listen, if you do well, I accept you. If you do well, meaning what I told you to do, I'll accept you. But if you don't, sin lies at your door. Let me show you what that means. Servants of sin, 33, 34, 35. Any man that committed sin will become a servant to sin. Right there, 35, 34. The book Come on, of, watch this. The book of John, chapter 35. 8, and verse 35. No, 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 34. 34. 34. Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin, That's the word. Didn't God tell Cain that? Whosoever committed sin. He told Cain, Sin is lying at your door if you don't do what's acceptable to me, right? Not that come as you are. Not give me what you got. Give right. me what you feel like having. He said, if you do well, 
then well will be done to you. But if you don't, sin lies at your door. Watch this. Come on. Whosoever committed sin uh -huh. is the servant of sin. He, Cain is the servant of sin right. because he committed sin. That's right. So the Lord, you know how the Lord dealing with us? You know how the Lord dealing with us the way he's dealing with us? We're the children of God, right? But we continue to follow the other nations. Right. We continue to do the same sacrifices that they do, which is wickedness, adultery, covetousness, murder, thefts. Who was the first murder recorded? Cain. We're reading about it. So now who's, sir, who's our master now, brother? Cain, the so-called white man. Right. The so-called white man, which is Cain, biblically, right. is now our master. And we do all the sacrifices that he does. That's what we do. Understand it. So the same reason, the same, the same spirit in which uh, 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 um, Cain was received, which Cain was rejected. Cain was not received. Oh, you don't want to serve me? Okay, your servant is who you'll serve then. Right. It's like our servants is who we serve today. You understand that the, 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 the similar to how those things correlate? So Jacob, we are the give me give me um give me Leviticus 25. Let me show you what it's supposed to be. Then I'm gonna get you some laws, bro. So you can understand what we're supposed to get back to. Not just saying we gotta get back to something. I'm gonna show you exactly what we're supposed to do. All these brothers in purple, I'm gonna show you exactly what these brothers do every day. I'm gonna show you. 25, it's like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, watch this. Watch this, bro. The book of Leviticus, chapter 25 and verse 45. Yeah. Moreover, of the children of strangers. Now, this is in the law of the children of strangers, meaning the other nations. Right. Read. That do sojourn among you. Uh -huh. That's around you. Read. Of them shall ye buy. Of them shall you what? Buy. Buy. They were supposed to be your servants. They were supposed to be your slaves. That's right. Now look. Now look where we at. Come on. And of them, I'm sorry, and of their families that are with you, uh -huh. which they begot in your land. So when those slaves have slaves, read, and they shall be your possession. Your what? Possession. Read. And ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you. They ain't never supposed to be free. That's right. Not ever. So how has it happened that we, the so-called the so-called blacks, which are the children of Israel, are servants to our servants? Right. How did that happen? Let's get it. Deuteronomy 28. That's a servant. Let's understand exactly, plainly what happened. Let's understand it. Let's understand, how did this happen? Think the tables have completely turned, brother. Completely turned. But we have to take accountability and responsibility for what's going on with our nation. Right. That starts with ourselves. We got to check ourselves. We have to correct ourselves. You understand? You're a king, bro. Know that. Know that. Don't just take it as a beautiful song I'm singing to you. You're a king. And you're that whether you like it or not. Right. Whether you're going to act like it or not. Right. You understand that? That's what you are. Uh, I'm not complimenting you. I'm describing you. You understand what I'm saying? Right. That's not a compliment. That's just like your name ain't a choice of mine. I'm going to call you by your name because it's your name. It's literally who you are, right? Same thing. You are God. You are king. You understand? But you die. We die because we don't act like it. Right. We don't act like it. That's why we die. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 43. Start at verse, verse 1. Verse 1. I mean 15. Verse 15. Answer the question they have quickly. Verse 15. Come on. And, but it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Read. to observe, to do all his commandments, uh -huh. and his statutes, Read. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The Bible says, if we don't do what the Lord commanded, then we do. Just like Cain and Abel in the beginning. Right. Just like Adam and Eve in the beginning. If we don't do what the Lord commanded us to do, not that, I, yeah, look, you get what I got. That's what, this is what I want to give you. This is what you're going to have to take. The Lord ain't dealing like that, bro. That's a myth. That's a lie taught to us and per, 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 uh, perpetuated to destroy us. Right. To keep us as just niggas in America. We are the rightful rulers of the planet. That's right. Rulers. Equality is a curse. We are the rulers right. of the planet. That's right. Watch this. If, you, if we don't hearken to do, read. Verse 43, the stranger that is within thee shall get up above 
at the very high. The Bible says the stranger, remember we just read about the stranger, right, bro? We just read about, who is the stranger supposed to be to us? You can say it, don't be scared, bro. Who they supposed to be to us? We just read about the stranger. Read it again. Hold what you got, we're going to go back. I got you, bro. I got you. This is going to take, because we've been lied to for all our lives. So you just hearing the truth for five minutes, it ain't going to wash everything. We got to keep doing this and keep doing it. So we got you, bro. No worries. No worries. Where you at? You got it? Come on. Leviticus chapter 25 and verse 45. Moreover, of the children of strangers. Of the children of strangers. So what do we do with these strangers? Come on. That do sojourn among you. Of them shall ye buy, and of their families that are with you, which they beget in your land. And they shall be your possession. And you shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you. So you are supposed to possess and own them as they possess and own you. Right. Go back. Go back. So now we read in Deuteronomy 28 as one of the verses, because we didn't do what the Lord said us to say for us to do. Right? Now we're reading as a curse that instead of them us owning them as a possession, they will own us as a possession. Watch this. The tables have turned. Read. Verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. So the stranger that is within us. Remember, we said it, the, the Bible said the strangers that sojourn amongst you. That's what it's talking about here. That the stranger that is within you shall get up above you very high. Hold that. Go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Yes, sir. Go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Because we're not supposed, nobody is supposed to be above us. Nobody. Nobody. Don't matter how the, 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 the world powers and all, that's irrelevant. Nobody is supposed to be over you, black man. Nobody. Watch this. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people. Now, the Bible says thou art in holy people, right? Come on. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above. What? says these things. The Bible, the same Bible you got at home probably somewhere buried under a pile of clothes or whatever. The same Bible that they claim it, they teaching you out of in churches. The same Bible, the so-called Jehovah's Witness talking about they read out of. The same Bible says these things. We are supposed to be above all people. Equality is a curse. It is a curse. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Let's read about this curse. Because guess what, bro? What's your name? Trey? I'm Jonathan. When you read this Bible, when you think about the Bible, what you should think about is not white people. Right. What you should think about is your heritage. Those are my people in that book. That's what, And we have to wash those, those images, those white images, those white man lies out of our minds so that we understand it. We understand that. So when we think, when we have problems and we look for the solution, we look for them through, through the eyes of our God, our people, not these white man lies that we've been taught all our life. All our life. And it's more than just the churches and these different religions. It's also TV. Teach you white man lies. TV teach you that. Our sisters can dress how they want. They can dress, the, wear underwear for outer garments, and that's cool. We supposed to lust, lust after them. We supposed to have a bunch of hoes. All these things we're taught to, that's not our heritage. That ain't where we came from. That's not what we was taught. We picked that up from the other nations. Right. From the other nations. But come on. Where you at? Verse 43. Come on. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. And he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. What does that mean? One nation will have the power and the authority to have your... If everything was given to you, what are they lending to you? Your own things. Right. Your own wealth. Because they were, the, the stranger that was within us got up above us. Now they're lending to us what belonged to us. You understand what I'm saying? But it's, we have to take responsibility for ourselves. Now let me show you the religion. Jump to 64. I'm going to show you the religion. Because we picked those things up along the way. Those are just conditions or curses because we fell into captivity. Because we fell into captivity. And then we're going to get into these laws, bro. Watch this. Come on. 
verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So we will sit in this slavery. What is saying that? You see this sign right here? This is, you can Google this. this. We didn't make this. We didn't make this. The scholars in the world made this map here. These were the trade routes that they used to sell slavery, to sell us into slavery. Right. All over the planet. You see all the, li the green lines? Those are the trade routes. You understand? We were the trade. Don't get it twisted. It was, at this point, it wasn't uh, gold and silver. It was us. We were the trade, right? So they picked us up here, they sent us there. They picked us up there, sent us here. All over the world, right? So wherever we went to in the world, that's the God that we learned to serve. That's right. what the Bible said, right? So when we went into slave on the slave ships, when we got off the slave ship, some of us got off the slave ships in Spain. What they were they worshiping in Spain? They were worshiping the Roman Catholic Church. They were worshiping this, the beast, the devil. That's what they were worshiping. So this is what we learned as a religion, right? When we, if we got off the, if we, when we, if we got off the, if we were sold to the uh, uh, Arabic man, right? What did we learn with the Arabic man? What's their religion? Allah, Islam. I, exactly. You know it, right? So, and Richmond is bugged the hell out with that uh, Muslim stuff. But that thing is heavy here. And in Maryland and Baltimore, that thing is heavy. Heavy, right? But the point is, we learn those things under the curses as a condition of our captivity. Right, not right. freedom, not power, right? Captivity. So we were forced to pick up these things. For now we do it willingly. We do it willingly now, but at one point we were forced. Watch this, read it again. Like Verse 64. Up. Huh? Like when, you get locked like when you get locked up. You gotta bang with somebody, you gotta get out with somebody, right? But watch this. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people uh -huh. from the one end of the earth Read. even unto the other. Watch this. And there ye shall serve other gods. You shall do what? Serve other gods. Now watch, listen carefully what these other gods go into. Watch this. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. They ain't never been your gods. They ain't never been with your fathers, your forefathers. Your heritage actually was. Read. Even wood and stone. Now the Bible says even wood and stone. What religion is wood and stone? What religion is that? What, let's, let's break them down. Let's deal with them one by one. What religion is wood? Who worships wood? No, I'll give you a hint. You're wearing it on your neck right now. Christianity. Christianity. You've been shot before? You've been hit with a pipe or something before? You ain't never been assaulted before? Everybody been assaulted before, but some have been assaulted with things. You been stabbed before? Damn, bro, you lived a peaceful life. You okay? So how would how would you like it if you got stabbed, right? And then the brother or the all your people now they wear knives on their shirt, on they on their chain, like that. Everybody got a knife now that you got stabbed with. Oh, you seen that knife Trey got stabbed with? I gotta have a piece now, man. You ain't got you no piece yet. Oh, you ain't doing nothing there, man. When you get when you get some bread, when you get your bread up, get one of them trade got stabbed nights, man. Get you one of them things. Dude, dude, you understand what I'm saying? This is this is the sense that we make out of the crosses. Now we all gotta have a Jesus piece. Oh, we ain't nobody. We ain't doing nothing. We ain't popping if we ain't got no Jesus piece. But why the white man ain't wearing the Jesus piece? Why he ain't why that's only for our people? They know something we don't exact, brother. You want it. You want it, bro. They know something that we don't know. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.